A sleeping giant, India has begun its journey to establish itself as a major force in the football world. Over the next three episodes, we speak to AIFF Technical Director Rob Bond about his plan for our footballing future. So today I'm sitting here quite literally with the man with the plan. His name is Rob Bond. He is the AIFF Technical Director, basically the man in charge. Rob, thank you so much for talking to us today on Total Football. Good morning. So you spent most of your time in Holland working with teams over there. How did you land up in India and why did you take the job as the AFF Technical Director? Well, uh, nearly one and a half year ago I was invited to do a presentation about uh, development and uh, after that they signed me for a, three year, for a two year contract okay. to help uh, to raise the level of football in India. Uh, when speaking to Scott O'Donnell earlier, we learned that you have uh, written this master plan uh, for Indian football. Can you briefly describe the key points of that? Yeah, the, the key point is to, to raise football in India and that, that is based first of all on, on raising grassroots uh, football, on coach education, uh, referee education, mainly we should uh, raise the level of the I-League mm -hmm. and uh, then of course football will get more popular, we will have more icons and we will hopefully have better results with our national teams. Mm -hmm. One of the other points that we noticed is developing this, uh, as you call it, the Indian style of play. Uh, why is this important? Well, it's important because India has had many foreign coaches. Uh, before uh, Wim Koevermans came, we have Bob Houghton. And what we find out is that uh, although we had good results, that the style of play did not suit the quality of the Indian players. So we should look for a style which suits this culture, which suits, let's say, uh, players who are not very, very tall. We have uh, a problem with finding tall players, physical strong players. So we should play a more skillful game. Okay. And is this style of play going to be, is it just for the national team or is this going to be implemented and embedded into club level as well? The national team is always depending on what's going underneath. So we have to start at the grassroots level, junior competition, there should we focus on. And, and from there on, the, pyra the pyramid goes into ac academies and national teams. Sure. Uh, the master plan also talks about developing a solid fan base, something akin to perhaps what we see uh, in clubs, um, leagues around the world, like the Premier League. Um, one of the major things we find as supporters of football and uh, lovers of the game is that the style of play that an individual club plays is something that we hold dear. For example, in Arsenal and Barcelona will play the passing game or the Madrids and Manchesters will play the more direct thing. Isn't having um, one style of play sort of detrimental to this? No, the, 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 let there be no misunderstanding. Each club should have his own club culture and, and, and be very careful with that. Uh, and, and because of that you, you, you build up different fan bases. So Manchester City, Manchester United, totally different fans. And that makes the competition more interesting because the fans like to compete and, and make uh, already noise before the, the matches start. And so a, a fan base is first of all based on, on youth development, where parents start to be involved in football, uh, know the club and, and of course later when father plays in the first team he wants his son to play in the same first team and so that's that's how you build up uh, a fan base for your club and and they love the colors and, and and they want to fight for it you know and that's something which is missing at the moment in India Absolutely. and that has to be built up uh, you mentioned parents uh, one question we ask to everyone we speak to is what message do you have to give to parents who are perhaps worried that football is not a realistic profession we may know better but they perhaps don't. So what message would you have for them? Well, we, we, at the moment we have the simple message that it is for kids the most uh, fun uh, sport uh, that you can bring because you, have, you, you, you need a small ball and you can play. Uh, you don't need anything else. Uh, and you can do it everywhere, uh, on the street, uh, on, on, on the field, uh, on the beach. Uh, so it's, it's easy to arrange and easy to play. And it's, it's good for the development of the kids because it has all the elements. It's running, it's playing, it's, it's, it's sometimes fighting, you know. Uh, part of, of development of kids is that you want to be the, the best, the strongest. Uh, and and in, in, in their whole future, football can bring a good income. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, even now already in I-League uh, clubs, uh, players have a good uh, salary, good income. We are not in track because we are very much restricted by financial problems mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and not enough support from the government. If, if the AFF is able in the, in the coming 10 years to implement the master plan, I can guarantee the success. If, it, if not, the success will never come.